The state continuing to closely track COVID-19 cases on college campuses. Tonight, why one lawmaker, though, says that it may not be enough. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 530. I'm Don Shipman and I'm Ciara Speller. Currently, the state is collecting COVID data from college campuses, but according to one Western Massachusetts lawmaker, they're not being as thorough as they could be. Yeah, 22 News State House reporter Jody Reed is live in Boston tonight to explain why she's now taking matters into her own hands. Amher State Representative Mindy Dom represents uh, an area of the state with one of the state's largest universities, and she knows firsthand that the effect the pandemic has had both on campus and in her community. Back in August, the state started to release community specific data, but they weren't doing an extensive look into how many of those were found on college campuses. Rep Dom took matters into her own hands and began sifting through DPH's website. Data is key, right? We're told a lot that our decisions are going to be data driven in the state and that policies should be data driven. And if we're relying on data, then we better make sure we're collecting and reporting um, the data that we need to make those good decisions. Many of the state's colleges and universities have decided to hold their first semesters online. When students get ready to return to campus next year, leaders of these higher ed institutions will be looking at this COVID data very closely. Because this data, specifically the data collected by RepDOM, will be used to determine who will be allowed to return to campus next semester. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.